Florida hog hunt with percussion revolvers. Cato Ajama and William Hovey Smith, 2013. I'm the author of two forthcoming books on hunting with muzzle-loading pistols and revolvers. And here is a very interesting hunt with percussion revolvers. This is Hovey Smith with Hovey's Outdoor Adventures. And I'm talking to Cato Ajama. And he has just gotten back from Florida with some fresh hog meat. And he killed with one of his own bullets. Kale, how was that hot? It was outstanding. I'm really happy and satisfied. About your bullets. You have some elongate bullets in more or less the Keith fashion that you designed for some rather unusual revolvers. Now, what revolvers are these bullets used in? They're mainly used in what we call a percussion or a cap and ball revolver, and that is the pre-cartridge, metallic cartridge uh, designed revolvers. Both the 44 caliber and the 36 caliber bullets that you have designed are, as I say, roughly like the Keith design. However, uh, you have put some new twist on it and increased their general use to more than just one set of firearms. Uh, yes, that's why they are named the universal uh, bullet. They are good uh, in percussion, cap and ball revolvers, modern metallic uh, revolvers, uh, rifles and carbines and forty five long colt, and modern muzzle loaders with a sable or without a sable. And what particular gun did you use on your hunt? I used this in a uh, one of the finest Italian-made replica revolvers by the firm of Aldo Uberti. It was the Remington New Model Army uh, revolver. Now, this is a 44 caliber revolver. And what load did you use? I used my 240 grain Kaido 456 bullet with 30 uh, grains of 777 3F powder. And triple seven powder is made by a good firm of Hodgson. Where did this hunt take place? The hunt took place at the Hog Heaven Ranch in Fort Myers, Florida. We have had buku rain lately, and things have been thick, thick, thick. Did you find it that way in Florida? Uh, we were blessed. We had a, a beautiful sunny day. There was no rain whatsoever. And who did you have with you? Oh, I had uh, my friends... Rudy Betancourt, Ray Fernandez, and uh, uh, their brother-in-law, Armando, who's an excellent hunter and tracker. And I gather y'all got started off at first daylight early in the morning after those hogs? Uh, yes, actually, uh, we started uh, to go out shortly after 5 o'clock in the morning. Okay. And were you hunting from stands or on the ground? Uh, both, mainly uh, on the ground, but we did go in stands as well. I gather that there were two hogs seen. Uh, one shot and hit, but not recovered, and one killed. Was that right? Um, actually, no, there were more. More were seen, but uh, due to the high grass, uh, we could not get uh, good shots at them. So the, the, uh, the figures you heard were correct as far as actual shots went. About your hog, a rather unusual thing happened. Could you tell us about it? Uh, yes, it uh, charged uh, our hunting party, uh, came full steam ahead with adrenaline pumping, and I had uh, my camera in one hand and the Remington in one hand, and I tried to film it, and I couldn't get it to film, and uh, I uh, sh- uh, shot it while it was charging us. A bit of advice, kill the animal, then worry about the pictures, not the other way around. Okay, so now once you got it killed, and once you got it on the ground, then what? And the uh, guide, uh, Earl, came around and uh, conducted a, uh, a search um, in the nearby uh, wood line and uh, found uh, the uh, boar. Now, that was butchered down in Florida and cut up into reasonably transportable pieces and put on ice and drug up here to me in Georgia. And what did we do with it up here? Well, I'm very grateful to you, Hovey, and you really showed me um, how to properly uh, prepare and wrap in butcher wrap uh, long-term storage, um, the uh, boar meat, and uh, you did that. You gave me se- uh, several good ways to wrap uh, different uh, parts of the animal, like the ribs, and uh, we made uh, sausage meat, which is superb, and tasted it as well. So I'm really grateful uh, you showed me this, and I can show this now to others. Long story short, you're going to head back home to New York tomorrow with about 50 pounds of frozen hog meat. 
Absolutely, and I'm very happy, and so are good friends of mine, because they're going to get uh, good pieces of it as well. I'm the author of the soft cover and ebook versions of Extreme Muzzle Loading and also of Backyard Deer Hunting. Now, we'll have an eight book ebook series, including these two titles on hunting with muzzle loading pistols. For Cato Ojama's Hunt, the 240 grain bullet hit just underneath the backbone and penetrated about 10 inches of hog. Now, that's fairly good. The Buffalo Revolver bullet apparently didn't do so well and just didn't penetrate deep enough in the larger hog to kill the animal. Hmm. For more information on Ojama's Bullets and other products, you can go to his website, Cato at Hotmail.com. For information on my books, blogs, and videos, you can go to my website at www.hovysmith.com. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors. Goodbye and God bless. Now, the sound recording and the video editing was done by me, of course. If you would like to find out more about hunting at Hog Heaven at North Fort Myers Beach in Florida, you can contact them at their website, www.hogheavenpreserve.com, or at the telephone number listed below. No kill, no pay.